That's right, it's been about 24 hours, maybe less, probably less, and I'm not dying anymore, I'm not, I'm not well, but I'm, I'm not dying anymore, so that's good, and it's time for another review, and again it's from the Sirtoys box, because it's not gonna not be the Sirtoys box for quite some time, let's be fair, unless I feel like throwing an official one in, we are gonna be very knockoff heavy for a while. Um... <laughs> And we're going to do this one. Ta-da! Now, this one actually came with, uh, I think it was like three, two, uh, one or three. I can't remember if it was a four or two. That came with a few other guys. But this one itself has particular relevance. Because, you see, children, this is the next step down in knockoffs. Because you may recall... And if I remember, I'll do a link and stuff, but whatever. That I reviewed this, which is a knockoff of the Tobot Transformer. Well, Tobot line. They're, they're Transformers, but, you know, the sort of very cutesy kiddie things. It's a cartoon series from somewhere. I, I, I want to say Japan, it could be Korea, it could be anywhere. I don't know. Uh, so I got this, which is not an official one. But this is much higher standard than this. Oh dear word, yes. I won't go into details of this because it's already how it's review, except for comparisons. So for now, let's just have a look at this one. Uh, we'll put that there for again, for comparisons. So this is a much brighter yellow, which I think is probably more an official construction vehicle kind of colours. Because this one's kind of an orangey. Which, I, I think it probably depends on which country you're in. I think over here in the UK, they're a lot more yellow. Uh, it's just got the black, there's no silver apps. Paint apps, see, I'm using the lingo. Um, yeah. And the plastic is a lot cheaper. You think a um, first generation Galaxy Shifter, that kind of... Hmm, it's not bad, it's just, it's not as chunky as this, sadly. And, it's fine, I mean, the, the moulding's there, I mean, look at the window and stuff, it's all still there, it's just there's not much paint applied to it. Though, to be fair, the paint on the door is probably nicer than this one. Yeah. But, <coughs> there's one thing on that figure that isn't on this figure, and you might be able to work it out. Go on, work out the difference. I'll, I'll give you I'll, I'll give you a count of ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. No, I'm not going to do that. It's wasting time. Yeah. This one, although there is a connection there for the, cr uh, the sort of hook arm, it actually connects here as well. On this one, there isn't the second one. So in this mode, it's stuck here. So it can only reach that far. Because this one can reach that far. Slight drawback, but whereas this one's got these big hefty C clip things. Go on to that. This one's only got a hole and a peg. So if I was that inclined, I could just drill a hole and peg it in. Might do that, don't know. So like I say, I could just drill a hole and just peg it in. It'd do the same thing. But would that ruin the robot mode? Well, I suppose we should really get on to it. Um, you go over there for a minute. <sighs> yeah, let's transform it. Sorry, I'm still feeling a little bit rough. And as soon as I've started recording, my nose is going. So I'm like, uh... Right, so. We shall unpeg the arm. And put it over there. We shall... <coughs> Stop it. We shall... Open up the front. This little bulldozer bit at the front. <coughs> Which does with these two sort of peggings there, but not very well. And then we need to unpeg them from these bits, which I seem to think are a lot bigger than they were on that one. But again, we'll, we'll have a look in the robot mode. Unpeg. Get them to loose to the side. Turn the figure over. Haha. -ha. <coughs> Ow. 
and extend these sliders for the shoulders. You see that? There we go. Extend. And then we need to pull this leg loose straight out. Good. There we go. And this one, just like on that one, I'm still not a massive fan of this, but... Yeah. It's got the peg with the little bit at the back of it there. Which goes into the holes with a little bit of a slit there. I just don't, I don't like it. It works, I'm just not a fan. Then you reach around the back here and fold the foot out. Like that. And... If you want, you can peg this into the back. And you can either have it going over the back, uh, sorry, over the top, or you can just sort of fold it up and shove it into the gap where the leg was for storage. And there it is in rock mode. Huzzah! It ain't bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Arms move right. Um, this is quite loose. Might have to floor polish this. But it ain't bad. Uh, face is decidedly nondescript. I mean, look at that. There's nothing there. There's not even any detail there. A little bit of flash on top there. And, yeah, this... There's not much to it, but... Mm. <coughs> Tell you what, I'll pause this and transform this one. Let me hit the pause button. And here he is. And they're basically the same size. I'm actually quite impressed. But again, if you look at the difference on them, I mean... I dare say I could add some paint myself if I wanted to. But there is a difference. I mean, like head on this with the little blue eye you know the silver collar sort of uh, beast hunters bulkhead esque little details and yeah these clips here are the ones that peg into the treads that's how big that one is and that's how big that one is there is a decided difference although these hold a lot better than these do these just sort of sit there these hold better believe it or not uh, Mm, there is a weight difference, this is lighter, but not as much as you'd think. And as much as I've forgotten to mention it, you can pull the treads out. Uh, sorry, the arms out of the treads. These, they're on a ball joint. Simple, effective, fine. Hollow. But, you know, that's fine, I guess. You can get the arms. And they can do sort of gorilla poses. This one, if you remember my review, is a bit of a nightmare to get the arms out. Yeah, and not hollow. I think this one was the one that really fought me, but I did use some uh, WD-40 to loosen them up. <coughs> so, like I say, there are differences, and that's got a connector in the leg. I dare say I could probably get away with just putting a little hole in there for the crane in the vehicle mode. But you know what one of the funniest bits about this one is, compared to that one? Is that a G2 Autobot symbol? I know it's it's not, but it ain't far off. That's quite funny. Quite enjoy that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> Size comparison, Age of Extinction Bumblebee. So, they're about deluxe. Both of them. And they're quite chunky. It's literally mainly just... The lack of paint. If this had a bit more paint, it would be really good. I mean, this one... It's functional, it does everything you want it to do, and it's fine. I'm just not in love with it, you know? There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, and this one's got a heel, whereas this one does not. But because this one's heavier, it needs the heel. And because this one's lighter, it doesn't. So, is that... Better engineering? I don't I don't know. But like I say, this one's fine, it does the job, it's you know, it does everything it needs to do. I'm just not in love with it. Whereas this one, just due to the little goofy aspects about it, I mean the fact that this kinda looks like an, a mouth with two little eyes and some little fangs. 
it's just neat. It's funny. There's just something about this I really like. I can't explain it. It's just it's just fun. And yeah, I, I've talked myself into it now. I'm gonna put a little hole in there for the uh, for the peg. But yeah, like I say, this one's just got so much more personality. I know it's cheap and nasty and all the rest of it, but who cares? Frankly, it I didn't even pay for this. This is a freebie. I'm not going to complain. So, again, thank you, Sir Toys. Hi. On the topic of Sir Toys, uh, Titastic pointed out um, on my JDeco review, uh, apparently these all actually get posted up on YouTube, on your channel, uh, your YouTube page. I didn't know. <laughs> so if anyone's still there, hi, you, hi Facebook. Hi. Um, subscribe's down there somewhere. I'm only kidding, but no, feel free. If you anyone wants to subscribe or anything like that, feel free. Uh, join the conversation. We have a laugh. Uh, watch out for Belusia Sea Bites. But other than that, we're all good. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I do like this one. I'll just have to floor polish that. Uh, where's that gone? I was floor polishing something before, but I'm not sure where I've put it. Oh, well, that's fine. It was only a little Z. You, you don't... You don't care about a little green Z that's part of sets of letters and stuff that I've now got the last three sets off. You guys don't care about that, right? Good. They're going to have to wait because Sir Toys. So, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to call it a day here. Um, I, I, I'll give you a final review. If Sir Toys has still got it and you don't mind the mm, cheaper quality for something that's funny... This one's great. If you want something that's a bit sturdier, like if it is actually going to go to a child, because toys to children, that one's a lot sturdier. Um, eBay, about four quid, you can find them. But I like this one, it's fun. You've got to have fun. Anyway, I'm calling it a day because I need to go and have something to eat or something, I don't know. So, I should be early, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye!